Hi, I'm Paul Heyerdahl, Product Specialist with Focusrite Innovation, here at Nova Music today to tell you about the Launch Control XL. For a great deal, check out the bundles at Nova Music. The Launch Control XL is the latest addition to the Launch family. Today I have it paired with the Launchpad S and I want to show you how easy it is to control the aspects of Ableton Live. First I'd like to give you a tour of the Launch Control XL just to show you how it's laid out and how it pertains to what I'm controlling inside of Ableton Live. I have 24 knobs at the very, very top. My top two rows of knobs are my sends inside of Ableton Live. So you can see on screen here I have my send A and my send B. But in Ableton Live 9 Suite, you can actually have up to 12 different se sets of sends. So what I'm going to be able to do is send select down by banks of two. So when I send select down, A and B then become C and D. So you can see now I have control over send C here in, uh, inside of Ableton Live. The next row of knobs, the last row of knobs, is my panner knobs. They also double as my device control. So you can see at the very beginning here, I have control over my pan pots. But to control my devices, what I need to do is go down to my track focus buttons and actually select a track. And as you can see, across the bottom of my screen, I have a bunch of different devices that pop up. So I'll stick on to this uh, tra track number eight right now. Actually press down my device button. And when I do that, it turns this row of panner knobs into my device control. Device control is a really handy tool to have in the studio if you're writing automation or if you're performing live to add some effects to your performance. And there's not another controller on the market that has device control built into their MIDI controllers. Now let's take a look at controlling devices that have more than just eight parameters. I'm going to pull up the, the Focusrite Midnight EQ here. And as you can see, I have device engaged. So my row of panner knobs are my device control. And I have control over my low filter as well as my low shelf. But as you can see, there's more than eight parameters built into this Midnight EQ. If I want to get over to the next bank of eight, all I need to do is hold down device, and my track control buttons on the bottom allow me to bank over to the next set of eight parameters. So I can just hit number two, and now looking at this, I have full on control over the next set of parameters inside of my Midnight EQ. So, so far you've been seeing me use the Launch Control XL in my factory templates. And how I get to my factory templates is I hold down the factory button and you can see across the bottom I have eight buttons that light up. Factory template number one is for Ableton, that's where I've been so far today. But if you want to customize this product to make it your own, however you work with inside of your DAW, you can actually assign things in the user templates. And I'm going to show you right now how easy it is to assign a master fader right to your Launch Control XL. So right now I'm going to hold down User and I'm going to choose User Template number one. And then I'm going to go over to Ableton Live. And inside of Ableton Live, I have my MIDI button at the very top, which allows me to MIDI map anything and everything inside of Ableton that turns purple. I'll click on the Master Fader. Again, I'm in user template number one, and all I need to do is just move a fader. Once I move a fader, it automatically assigns it inside of Ableton Live. I can get out of my MIDI map mode. And again, user template number one. All I need to do is move my fader, and now you can see I have full-on control of my master fader inside of Ableton. So every fader, knob, and button can be easily assigned with inside of Ableton Live. But if you're not using Ableton Live and you want to customize this for another DAW, we have the Launch Control XL Editor, and I'd like to give you a tour of that right now. So here's the Launch Control XL Editor that allows me to customize the Launch Control XL. I can change the CC values. I can change the MIDI channels. I can customize this to the way that I work with inside of my DAW and either save it as a file on my computer or I can save it directly to the device. So for visual aspect, so you guys can see, I'm going to change the colors of all these, these knobs to green, just in the middle, so you can see what I'm working with here. And as I'm doing that, play along with me and understand that I'm changing the CC values, I'm changing the MIDI channels, I'm customizing this to the way that I work with inside of my DAW. And once I have it customized to the way I want, I want to save it directly to the device. And when I do that, I hit save, and it asks me, which user template do I want to overwrite? 
I'm going to overwrite user template number two. I click OK. It updates the unit. And all I need to do to get to my settings is hold down user and press number two. And you can see I have my customizations right there. So that's the Launch Control XL. And as you can see, it gives you a lot of hands-on control for Ableton Live or any DAW that you're working with. And it's a great addition to any studio or live setup. Once again, I'm Paul Heyerdahl here at Nova Music. Thanks for watching.